Hi, I'm Dr. David Stoker, board certified plastic surgeon in Los Angeles with a beautiful four month rhinoplasty post-op case. Let's check it out together. She is a 21 year old beauty, newly graduated from college, and she was bothered by two things. One was her prominent nose before uh, that kind of projected out and was a little bit on the narrow side here. And on the, from a side view, she had a significant bump there. But also, very importantly, she had airway obstruction. 99% of the airflow was obstructed on her right side. And in her case, we did a rhinoplasty, septoplasty, spreader grafts, and turbinate reduction. But let me ask you, in your, in your own words now, um, are you breathing significantly better than you were before surgery? Yes so much better. It's such an obvious change from before to after. Are there any things like, you know, some people say they can smell food much better. There are uh, things like that, uh, enjoying things that they haven't been able to do before. It, have you had any experiences like that? I was telling my mom the other day actually, I was like, this food tastes so good. Like I've always loved food, obviously, but right. I can tell a huge difference just enjoying certain tastes and just smelling different things and being able to sleep at night without waking up and I can't breathe out of my nose. So. It's an incredible change. I love that. What about um, what about how you sleep at night? Are you able to sleep better? Because you probably had to have your mouth yeah. open before, right? I sleep like a rock at night. It's oh, great. It's perfect. That's <laughs> a really, really big deal. That makes me happy. How do you feel about the appearance of your nose? Oh, though? it's. I love it. I get a lot of compliments. Everyone just says, you look so good. But no one really says, you know, it's not like they know what really yeah. happened. So I just feel more confident. Yeah. I don't you know, look at my nose and see the bump on my nose. I'm like, oh, I can notice that. But I just feel more confident with myself and just, I love the way it turned out. Uh, this is a beautiful incision. This is the way I like to do it where you can't see the incision. I can't see an incision there. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So there's this little tiny jagged line that came across there. It's jagged because it's more of a disguise. And then everything is underneath the shadow of the rim of her nose here. The airways on the inside are wide open. Notice how symmetrical the nostrils are there. I mean, the whole thing is very, very close to perfect now. <laughs> Makes me happy. You too, obviously. Yes, huh? very. <clears throat> One last question for you. How did you hear about us to begin with? What was the what was the uh, initial catalyst? Yeah, so you um, operated on two of my family friends, and they spoke extremely highly of you. And then when my nose started bothering me about my breathing and everything, they just said, you have to go to Stoker. He's incredible. Like, he changed my life. So I had to go.